Hey, how's it going? I'm Project Inc. once again. Long time no see. Yeah, that's right. I'm the fat kid that just got fat and I got a dirty old mustache for Movember prostate cancer. Anyway, this is a, a video response to uh, Child's Play Ninja and fuck yeah, I am drunk as shit. Because I can. My day off. I gotta stay up all night. Because I gotta work in the morning. Or at nights. I guess. But. Uh, you know what bud. Like you're from Arizona. I'm from Canada. You guys have American Thanksgiving. We have Canadian Thanksgiving. Which was like a month ago. And. You know what. There, it just got me thinking, so this is a good thing, you know, you express your views and points, which I'd say 80% of the time I concur with you and that's why I relate to your videos and that's why I watch your videos. Um, a lot of North Americans take their life for granted, their stuff that they have. Like, I'm lucky that I am so prosperous and I'm, I'm at where I am in my life that I could do almost anything that I want. I'm a fucking juggalo. Who gives a shit about being a fucking juggalo? We're supposed to be scrubby ass fucking pieces of shit, but that doesn't matter. Who cares? I might not have anything... For my whole fucking life, I, w I, I could be a fucking millionaire. And you know what? Bottom line is, you should be thankful for what you have and where you've come from, pretty much. What I want to say is, you, you could be a millionaire, but always remember who you are and where you've come from. You came from nothing, motherfucker. I'm talking to myself pretty much or whoever and just because you're a millionaire doesn't mean shit it's how you got there if you just had everything handed to you your whole fucking life well then you're a bitch you gotta make something of your life to be something you know like I could be living in a, a pile of dirt but as long as I have my wife beside me, I wouldn't care. I could lose everything I own. Everything I fucking own today. I could lose my job. I could lose my car. I could lose my motorcycle. I wouldn't give a shit. These are possessions. Possessions eventually own you. Think about it. I, I'm fucking recording this shit from a fucking, a fucking iPad for fuck's sakes. Like, who needs an iPad? I have a laptop. I have two laptops and three desktops. But I'm recording this shit from a fucking iPad. Like, who gives a shit? And I'm in, in my own home. My garage. Remember, YouTube Juggalos? That's when we used to be the shit, YouTube Come on, like, this is my domain. I fucking sit on my fucking couch and get fat. I go to my job. I eat. I sit down. I get fat. Who gives a shit? Think about what you don't have. I'm going to put a link in the description because I said your video really... Touch me. I don't care if this is a fucked up video or what. Um, but me and my girlfriend tonight, my wife, whatever. She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> I hate the world that the word wife and fiance. I hate them. I'm always referred to girlfriend or whatever. But uh, anyway, today we uh, sat down and watched the documentary on YouTube, which is free. It's called um, Streets of Plenty. Which is about 
uh, Vancouver's homelessness, ho- homelessness. Um, anyway, this guy, he's a very upscale citizen. His, 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 he's very well off. He pretty much stripped himself of all his clothes, jumped into the river of, uh, or the ocean near, uh, Nova Scotia, BC. Sorry, Vancouver, BC. And, uh, he became homeless for 31 days and he lived the, the life of the streets. He did heroin, he did crack, just to prove a point. And he did this documentary, which is fucking wicked. And it just shows what we have for granted. He, he thought being a homeless person was was so simple. It was their choice. But bottom line, it came down to addiction. Addiction of who you are and 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 all this bullshit. But anyway, I'll put the link in the description. Go check it out. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to my uh, American friends. Or I call them U.S. friends because I'm American. I might live in Canada, but I'm still North American. So that means I'm American. So that's it. Peace.